It's being heralded as the racing series that's the best chance of producing the region's first Formula One driver. FG1000, or Formula Golf, is the brainchild of Barry Hope, the owner of Golf Sport Racing. Barry has been at the forefront of development in motorsport in the Gulf region since coming to Dubai in 1977. The cars are uh, proper Formula single-seater cars. Typically they sit in the, uh, the ladder, the motorsports ladder, as a junior, what we call a junior series. So typically designed for drivers that have come out of karting, uh, taking their first steps on the ladder to the top uh, where Formula One sits. FG1000 is unique in that its sole purpose is to find real young racing talent and help springboard them towards a career in F1. In order to do that, Golf Sport have pioneered the creation of the Formula Golf single-seater, designed in the UK by one of the most experienced race car builders, Ralph Furman. And now they have a car that is the perfect stepping stone to the F1 feeder series. They're quick. Uh, they run on Formula 3 rubber. They're 150 horsepower, weigh about 400 kilos. So power to weight ratio is very high, high downforce, but six speed sequential, three pedals, very nice to drive, but it's a learning, a learning car, uh, but it's quick enough to keep them interested. Currently, both the cars and potential young drivers are undergoing testing at the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi, where Full Throckle joined a group of hopefuls as they got their first taste of this new series. Originally aimed solely at young Arabs, FG1000 has now opened its doors to the Asian market as well and is finding some exciting young talent as a result. I've done karting for about a few years, then I've jumped straight into BMWs for about a year and this is my second year and then jumping into these. So, As well as 18-year-old Natasha, there are four other racers. Haytham and Maha from Oman, Harish from India and Usman who lives in the UK. I raced in the UAE Radical Series uh, in Dubai, uh, raced in SR3 and done a couple of rounds of the European Masters in the summer and uh, now I want to do Formula Golf 1000. Usman is probably one of the more experienced drivers on track on the night, with many of the candidates having only raced karts and even then not at competition level. So racecraft training is vital and it's Andy Pardo's job to literally fast track these drivers into a racing career. And those that have come straight out of karting, they've now got to learn how to, how to use the brakes properly, how to cope with a car that has suspension, that moves, uh, and as well as all the other disciplines that, that, that they're trying to get experience of as well. And there's no escaping the close scrutiny of Pardo and the pit crew, even when the guys are out on track. We're running a full data logging system, um, which is logging engine parameters, and then uh, parameters to help us with the development of the drivers. So we get brake pressure, steering, g-force, um, there's cameras on board which are integrated with the loggers, so when they watch back the footage they can see where they're braking, how much brake pressure, what gear they're in, revs and speed. With all the human and electronic eyes on the drivers, this is a steep learning curve and a precursor to the sort of pressures that the drivers can expect to face week in, week out, once the season kicks off after the summer. But it's not just their ability behind the wheel that the drivers have to concentrate on. The floodlights and backdrop of the Yas Marina Hotel are just a hint at the potential racing lifestyle that could await them. And as part of the Formula Golf package, the drivers are also being taught how to deal with the media attention that they'll attract. Well, we've looked at today, especially talking to media, television, uh, very important, and talking to press and different types of media and, and what different types of uh, stories they will be giving and focusing on their achievements and, and what they will be uh, looking to do in Formula Golf 1000. And also a bit about them, personality and all that sort of uh, exciting stuff that we don't hear about. When it comes down to it, though, it will be their driving skill that will attract the most attention hopefully from sponsors and race teams further up the ladder. But for now, these drivers are just glad to be out on track. I'm lucky, I find it lucky that I'm getting to race against these guys. Some of them are much better than I am, so I'm learning from them, which is good. Um, I'm privileged to get this chance to race. Not many people do. And it doesn't matter if you're a female or male, it's whether or not you enjoy it.